Hi, welcome to Julius Bar. Today we're gonna make a frozen strawberry cocktail. <music> So let's get right into it. We're gonna need two cubes of uh, frozen mango, well, also normal mango if you have it. And when I say two, I mean two because we don't wanna have too much of this. Otherwise it's gonna give the uh, overall cocktail a thickness that we don't want. We just want a slight more consistency and texture and some velvetiness to everything, but not something like so thick that it's gonna feel like you're drinking one of those brick juices that after you're done you're more thirsty than when you began drinking them. So then we're gonna need the free strawberries depending which country you're in uh, this could be medium sized or uh, consider even small. Here we are. No, I think I will say medium. Funny thing about Japan is that there are two seasons for strawberries. One is spring, like I think the rest of the world, and the other season for uh, strawberries is Christmas. I guess all the farmers, their greenhouses, they tune their uh, strawberries to be ripe around Christmas time. So it really feels like Christmas is a second spring for strawberries because Japanese people, they want to have lots of strawberries and New Year's and they love their uh, shoto cake, they call it. It's like this uh, whipped cream, fluffy cake, uh, and strawberry cake. Now for the alcohol. So we're gonna go with uh, 15 milliliters of uh, Pierre Ferrand dry curacao. I would specifically recommend the Pierre Ferrand one in this case because, uh, as I said before, it felt more Christmassy. And we are around the Christmas season, so this one is perfect in this case. Then we're gonna go for 15 milliliters of Kirschwasser, this brandy made from cherries from Germany, which I used in my Caboso video. I thought I will never use again, pretty much, because it's really weird. But here we go, I found another use for it. And then I'm gonna go for 30 milliliters of whiskey. In this case is Vecita. Vecita or Zacita as we say in Japan. It's a single grain Japanese whiskey. It means that single means it's made in only one distillery. And grain means that it's made from different grains, just not uh, malted barley, but also probably corn and other stuff. The thing to say about this cheetah is that we bought it on a trip and we made a highball with it and we were like, oh my God, this is great. And then by the time we made the second highball, we were like, oh my God, this is too sweet. It's really sweet. It's the sweetest whiskey I have. But it's gonna help in this drink because we are not gonna add any more sugar except for something I was about to forget, one teaspoon of uh, this stuff, almond, and I guess it's not pronounced orgit. Is it supposed to be French? Like orge? Maybe it's orge. But to not have any more argument or problem pronouncing this thing, I guess from now on I'm just gonna call it orzata like in Italian. So just one teaspoon of uh, orzata because otherwise it's gonna overpower our whole drink. And that's about it. Now I'm gonna blend it. I'm gonna do this in two steps just because maybe it's not really... Mm, this is good. Maybe it's not really necessary to do it in two steps but I'm gonna first blend and then I'm gonna blend with ice. But at least this way I'm sure I'm gonna get every small chunk of strawberry out. I mean blended. 
now we add three cubes of ice. They're pretty large cubes. The amount of ice is going to be pretty important in this case because it's going to end up in our drink. Let's try with this three big, uh, relatively big cube. <laughs> And there you go. Our frozen strawberry cocktail. We can decorate with one more strawberry, maybe. And there you go. What should we call this? Maybe a. Uh, I would call it Tokyo strawberry. Like that. Because it's uh, in Tokyo, it's the season for strawberries, it's Christmas, and whatever. If we call it Christmas something, then people are not going to drink this in the summer, and it would be wrong because it's a really good drink for summer too. But okay, Tokyo strawberry. Frozen strawberry cocktail. Cheers. It's nice. It's pretty sweet, even though we didn't use any other additional sugar beside, uh, of course, using the, a sweet whiskey, the curacao, and a teaspoon. Please use only a teaspoon of uh, orzata. I'm going to call it orzata. Otherwise, it's going to be overpowering. Also, mango, just a bit to give a bit of background tropical flavor and also mango adds fiber makes it a bit more thick in a sense even though most of the thickness in here is brought by the ice let's try the strawberry mm, not bad yeah it's fruity it's sweet it's um, it's interesting. The orzata matches well with the curacao. The chita just get right down into it. It doesn't have any overbearing whiskey flavor. Just a sweet alcoholic maltiness. And the kishwasser brings a bit of interesting funk to the party. It's a good drink. I'm happy with it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment, shake. Blend yourself a drink, and I will see you next time. Cheers.